Right, so we found the potential plus t potential function for which del phi, I said delta for some reason, del phi is u. Um, and the reason we can then do part two is we can use that to just do, instead of doing the line integral between those two points, we can just do the change in the uh, potential because the idea is it's conservative. So all we have to do is put e and f into those into the potential function um, and take f e from f. That's it. So we just put the values 0, 0, 1, x, y, z, and 1, 1, 0 into it. So that's the function itself we just figured out. And then uh, there are values. So we're just going to put them in there. So f is going to go into the function. So it's going to be 1 plus 2 times 1 times 1. Okay, that's fine. Plus 2 times 1 times 0. So that goes 0 plus 2 times y squared, which is 2. Minus um, when x is 0, that's nothing. x, y, nothing. 2xz, uh, well, x is nothing, so that's no good. 2yz, 2y squared, that's nothing, because y is nothing. Uh, minus 3z squared, so that's minus 3. So that's that minus 3 there. So it's that value, minus, minus 3, which will become plus 3. I put there the c's cancel, so I'm writing plus c, minus plus c. That's why these, you know, you get a plus c when you integrate with the, in a definite integral with limits because the c's always cancel. So, same thing here. I've just not bothered writing it. And then uh, that's going to give us 5 plus 3, so that's 8. That's the answer.